All right, all you Axe FX3 owners, it is Firmware Monday. Axe FX3 Firmware 23.00 was released today, oh, around 26 minutes ago. Now let's go over the list, and it's a big list. Improved the Amp Block Triode algorithm. Improved Spring Reverb algorithm. Now let's see to go over that real quickly. New algorithm is based on a digital waveguide with scattering nodes. There are two internal spring reverb types. The first type has all springs in parallel. The second type has a pair of springs in series in parallel with one or more pairs of springs in series. For the second spring reverb type, the reflection off of the junction between the coupled springs is controlled by the scattering parameter. The drip parameter controls the dispersion of the springs. The various models have different tone controls. Several new models have been added. Note that the modulation parameters have been removed as they are not compatible with the new algorithm. Existing presets and spring reverb types are reset to default values. Improved reverb block early reflections. Added pre-delay tap parameter to reverb block. New plate reverb algorithm. Updated many of the reverb models. Improved tremolo block. Improved tape delay algorithm. Improved tape chorus algorithm. Updated control LFOs. Updated all JS410 lead models based on a current production JVM410 HJS. Added JS410 lead green amp model. Added 2x12 USA C90 open back speaker impedance curve. Added pitch high cut parameter to reverb block. Added modifier capability to high cut parameter in delay block. Added smoothing parameter to cabinet block in Dynacab mode. Improved channel switching speed. Preset, scene, and channel changes are now gapless if desired. Fixed an NAM that could occur in Euro Uber model at certain combinations of presence and speaker impedance. And of course, various other fixes and improvements. Now I will have a link for this firmware in the description. And as soon as a new version of Axe Edit comes out, I'll put a link for that as well in the description. All right, guys, have a great week and have fun with this new firmware.